What? That's been the there. Hell. They've been there for so long. Three. He's gonna go extinct. Oh. <laughs> thank, you, thank you for the food. <laughs> Two, one, zero. And he's oh, gone. oh, what's going on here? Oh, this. They just. He's another armored titan. This guy. I also don't really know what the objective here was. What are you trying to create here? Are they supposed to be running around shooting stuff? Yeah, I have no idea what the point here was. Oh, okay. This one is a little bit different. Basically, mm. like all the green stuff, that's like the master node. Right. And it's connected to like a bunch of other body parts. For some reason, I can't really get the joints to work correctly, so sometimes... <laughs> You see that? They're spinning out of control now. But once that guy starts uh, going maximum spin, <laughs> he's maximum gonna- Maximum RPM? Yep, he's gonna hit some other guy. The other guy's gonna go into maximum <laughs> RPM also. <laughs> and then the entire, like, the entire population just starts going into maximum RPM. Now you're seeing, basically there's two different types. One of them is like a prey, the orange uh, armor that's on the side. Because these are predators. And the green circles. Those are food. That's food, okay. That's food, but only um, prey can eat food. Right. Whereas like predators, like this pink guy over here, can only attack and uh, get the energy from attacking other creatures. But they basically cannot eat the food. Hopefully this guy hits the uh, food. Boom, see, okay, hit it away. Oh, that's cool. Because they can't eat it. I like to see the great block of creatures. Oh, it's a predator. The health, max health is also determined based on how many nodes there are. So this creature has actually three nodes. You right. Can see. The three orange yeah. circles. And then the size oh. of the node based on the area of the node is determines how much health that they have. It also determines their mass for this. Damn, that's All a right. lot of predators. 50,000 ticks. Yep, some of them will have uh, more hidden neurons now, like this guy. Let me introduce you to. Goop <laughs> Whatever this guy's name is. Trust me, there's a reason I call it the super creature, okay? I'm quite sure it's pronounced. Jupke. Jupke. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is absolutely nuts. Can we have Jupke face off against my creatures? Pewfie my Ryrie. Pewfie my Ryrie versus Jupke. Okay. Uh, trust me, Jupke will uh Pewfry. <laughs> Pewfry. <laughs> okay. Uh, Pewfry. Pewfry. Pewfry is about to get fried. Oh no, here here. Your apex pressures. That's Jupke right here. You see that? Oh Jupke is not messing Damn, around. Damn, look at those. Jupke is a very good at hunting, but the unfortunate thing is he's does he kind of like um they follow in a line, right? Mm. Jupke also follows in a line, that's why he did not really need like see all these creatures have like a little spike at the back to protect yeah. themselves if another predator is attacking from the back, they will just the enemy predator will take a damage because the spike. Jupke on the other hand does not have this. So he can get hunted. So he got basically destroyed. Are they just chilling on the wall? They're just getting free food that's getting knocked towards <laughs> stuff. That's it. You're feeding off of, of pew fries. It's not just like pew fries feeding them by knocking food to them, you know? Like this, boom. And then this food is just gonna travel its way to. And it's not like it's just one or two, it's a clump at three different locations. Four. There for so long. Well, they're gonna go. They're gonna eventually all go extinct. Number three. He's gonna go extinct. Oh. <laughs> thank, you, thank you for the food. <laughs> Two, one, zero. And he's oh, gone. oh, what's going on here? Oh, this. They just. We just annihilated them. He's another armored titan. This guy. But he's just like completely destroying their little colony up here. 
Oh my god. That was just so cool. It's like, get out, my corner. Yeah, I really like the look of the new spikes on the shells. It's uh, It looks a little bit more descriptive. I can actually see which direction the spike is pointing. Previously it was just a giant green blob or red blob. But now at least you can see which direction the spike is supposed to be pointing uh, based on where it is on the particular node. Shells are also, they look a lot more descriptive. You can clearly see damage on them as they get uh, more and more darker. It looks a lot better. I like it. Honestly, it's just messing around with the hyperparameters at this point. It's really just an art. <laughs> if you can mess around with the hyperparameters and change it to whatever you want to see, the kind of um, evolution you want to see happening, how fragmented you want the species to be, it's all about just messing around with the hyperparameters. Like for example, here I feel like even though the food is a lot more sparsed out and there really isn't that much based on the size of the map right now, there's still a lot of these little um, smaller uh, armored up creatures spawning. And they each have three eyes and so that's a lot of ray cast that happens. So imagine like tuning the hyperparameter to say that maybe if, the, if a creature is a prey, they have less eyes. Or if their creature is a um, a predator, they may have more eyes or less eyes. It doesn't really matter. But the point is, all these creatures on the map doing ray casting that can um, obviously slow down the simulation. Eventually, if a particular simulation is running for a long time, you see a complete uh, species change. Here, all of the previous species pretty much got wiped out and what you're left with is just the new generation. I think we're at the species ID, species ID 6400, right? So there's 6400 different unique species before this. So it turns out they actually have two eyes. But for some of them, one of the eyes is being blocked by its own shell. But now some of them are starting to evolve to have the other eye kind of poke out, out of the shell and they can see um, a little bit better and they can see with both eyes. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was such a simple but interesting concept to work on. Uh, the link to my GitHub and also my Discord channel is in the description and I really invite you guys to join uh, and check out this project and play around with it. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions and uh, see ya.